Okay, so hey everyone, this is a video showing you how to edit the document that I have or that you have access to. So this is just a general video showing how you would make some changes to a video. I'm mean, not a video. I'm um, how you'll make changes to the actual PSD or Photoshop file uh, once you download it and have access to it. So we're going to pretend that we've already downloaded the file, that it's already open. This is how it will initially appear. So as you can see here, there's two folders. The first folder we have is the front folder and then we have the back folder. Now this is this is how I edit or this is how I edit my shirts. Everybody's style is different. Everybody's templates are different. So what works for me may work for you or it may not. Whatever. But you downloaded it so obviously <laughs> you want to use it. So yeah. So um, pretty much the only thing that you should be changing from this template is the pictures and let's say you wanted to change the background color. Okay, so again, we're going to start from scratch. Let's say um, you have your picture. I'm not going to go into details on how to change the picture. If you want that, that'll be in a separate video. You can reach out to me. Regrettably, time is money. So if you are needing a little bit more assistance, I do have a, um, a slot where you can schedule time with me. And I'll go over any questions that you have within that particular time. But anywho, here we go. So let's say you wanted to change this picture. You'll open up this folder here. You can click on it. And this is where you would insert your picture on top of this. Now this is... Um, I use the mask tool. So you can either keep this or you can turn it off by clicking on disable and this is how it will look if you wanted to turn it off. So let's say you've already changed the pictures, that's perfect. Now let's say you wanted to change the name. You would double click on the name, we're going to change it to Samuel. Okay, now let's say you know he's graduating from a school that's blue. Or that's green, green and white. So let's change this color to green. There you have it. That's how you change that color to green. I don't know if that moved over or not, but anywho. So now let's say we want to change the color of the background. As you can see, if I click on the background, it's not going anywhere. So let's say I double click there. I'm going to go to layer 12 because that's the background layer. Now this is a pretty advanced step. Um, a lot of people question how to change a color of a background. With Photoshop, there's multiple ways on how to change the background color. Um, I'm going to show you the most simplest and easy way, I would say, um, of how to change the background. So we're going to unlock the layer 12. Then we're going to go to the top here and click on image. Then go to adjustments. And then go to hue slash saturation. Now as you can see here it says master. We're going to stick with the master because it's only one color. So as you can see if we slide this over it's changing the colors. So that's easy, simple. I changed it to green. Now we're all set. So this is the front of the shirt. Again, if you wanted to change the person, um, you would just drag your picture here and remove the background of the person and add their picture. So that's the front. Now let's close this folder and let's go to the back of the shirt. This is the back. As you can see here, it still has this color background. So we want to change that, right? The most simple 
an easy way to change this background. Yeah, we can go to the image and adjustment. However, our greens may be off or you don't want that. So I'm going to turn back on this front. I'm going to click on that. On my keyboard, I'm going to click on Command J to duplicate the background. Then I'm going to drag it here into that folder. Let's close this front folder up so we don't get confused. Let's open this back up and let's just drag this down. Simple. All done. Now let's say we want to change this to these words to smart. Okay, so as you can see, that bless layer is still there. So we're going to turn that off. So with designing with the templates, you do want to make sure that your images are always in the center of this gray line that's your guide it's okay if it's up a little if the image is up a little it's fine so i'm just going to resize this word i'm going to unlink that Perfect. So that's the end of how to edit a template.